Welcome to a Thursday, guys. Walking into my cover appointment. So excited. It's been two weeks. Too long. You know what is especially great? So I just got out of the chiropractor, and I love the fact that even though as a pre-chiropractic student, and I'm on the verge of actually starting chiropractic school, well, you know, I guess you never really know how you're going to want to practice until you actually graduate and are practicing. But my point is, even though I'm sure the way that I would like to practice and the way my current chiropractor practices are drastically different, or at least fairly different, I love him as a chiropractor. He's so great, so thorough, attentive, uh, listens, but also like tells me what I need to hear. I love that though. I love that even though I think, okay, maybe the kind of chiropractor I want to be, I can't necessarily picture working side by side with you in an office. I super appreciate you as a colleague and as my chiropractor. I mean, especially when you get into the chiropractic field, everyone practices so differently and every office is different. And I love the fact that even though I imagine something different for myself, I can still super appreciate and respect his practice, his art, his whole process for the adjustment. So I think that's awesome because within a lot of um, uh, practices and within a lot of professions, you have, this, you have competition that too fast turns ugly just because you don't agree. And I... I'm in a lot of chiropractic groups and I definitely have seen that on Facebook or just in real life. But I love the fact that so many people also can completely respect another practice, even though it's a different approach, which to be fair, I think is kind of how it should be because there are so many different humans that need a different kind of adjustment or chiropractor within, you know, within reason. But why wouldn't you want different, different options for people? Anyway, that's all I got. I'm going to head and pick up my mom now. As I talk about adrenal, adrenal fatigue and I'm drinking 20 ounces of coffee, it's honestly just a drip coffee with some almond milk. There's no sugar or anything, and it's probably only about 16 ounces of coffee anyway. So, And it's my only coffee of the day, okay? That's my justification. Good talk, guys. Guys, we're at Costco. We have American Girl, and Kit was my all-time favorite. She's from the Depression era, and she would have her own little newspaper, and she inspired me to have it. My mom's laughing. She inspired me to do a family newspaper. I had my mom buy me this old typewriter once. There were some great additions. I charged my parents 50 cents, but they would only pay me 25 cents. Oh, American girl, what great memories. Oh, that's adorable. Costco, one of my favorite places, and it reminds me of a video I just saw on YouTube the other day that was like, things people say in Costco. I will link it below. It's by Family Who YouTubes, and they're smaller. Smaller channel. It was just hilarious and so true. So every corner I take, I'm like reminded of it. I'll link it below in the comments. I think it's either by the Dasher, the Dashy family, something like that. You'll see. Hey guys, I have not been vlogging much. I've been home for a couple hours. Let me put you there while I plug in my phone. Um, took my dog on a quick walk. Made this awesome plate of food. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to insert my Instagram photo of it now because it was delicious. And I was about to get a lecture done before I work. I work in about two and a half hours. But then I remembered that right this weekend, it's um, Starbucks is doing buy one, get one free for coffees. And... My mom and I are going to go take advantage of that because why not? Um, and then I'm going to come back, watch a lecture, get ready for work, watch another lecture when I'm home, and hopefully edit a video tonight. And I'm psyched. It's been a, it's been like a week since I posted, which is totally fine, but it's not fine. I'm just telling myself that. But anyway, so that's the check-in. It's almost 3 p.m. now. I work at 5. We got this, guys. We got this. <laughs> mocha made with almond milk half as sweet decaf because it's about 4 p.m. and I don't need the caffeine I just kind of wanted the experience and it's really great honestly yeah. my mom got just a classic um, eggnog latte I think it was and she said it's super sweet but then I said you know what that's not a bad idea because you just separate that into two different drinks mix it with some drip coffee here at home and you just got basically a two-for-one in and of itself Anyway, I'm just finishing up an a &P 2 lecture, and then I gotta get ready for work, because I work in about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Alright guys, it is the end of the night. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I just got home from work. It is about 11 p.m. I do need to watch at least one more lecture, and then edit a vlog. So, like I said earlier, it's been a couple days since I've posted a vlog. So, let's do this. I have some Christmas spirit and a little bit of peppermint diffusing here. Which is just so, like positive feeling. I love it. I don't actually know what these cards are. That's something my mom put, but whatever. Anyway, um, that is the end of today's vlog. Thanks again for watching. Do not forget, please, to subscribe. And let's think of a question of the day. 
I love when people do question of the days, so I want to start doing that in my vlog as well. Um, question of the day, what is your favorite coffee or hot drink? Yes, just that. Let's not. Why not? I know it's like a really cliche question, but that's a valid question. Okay? Valid question. All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye. See you in the next one.